What's up bros, Double Eagle sent me one of their M906As for free and today we're going to check it out. Inside the packaging you get two plastic bags full of literature and stuff. You get an unjamming and cleaning rod. You get a mid cap mag. You get this box which feels like they're tools inside. which looks like a converter from Dean's to Timea. A little wrench and a little Allen wrench. And it looks like some other Dean's connector converter. So that's cool. You get an extra spring, which either converts this to a lower or higher power. I'm not sure which one it is yet. And you get the gun itself. All right, so let's take a look at the gun. You have a really long barrel here with one long Picatinny rail. You've got rear and front iron sights. The receiver feels like it's metal. The grip and the stock, I think are polymer. I think you have a metal buffer tube here. And I think even your M-lock rail here is metal as well. You have an ambidextrous selector switch. You have your charging handle here. When you pull the charging handle back, it opens the dust cover and the cover for the hop-up. To close the hop-up cover, you push this little button right here. And then to close the dust cover, you've got to manually close it like that. You have your mag well here and you have an ambidextrous mag release, one here. And one here. The stock is a five position stock and it goes all the way out to there. All right, bros, now I'm gonna go over the programmable electronic gearbox. So the first thing you need to do is set it in safe. Now to activate it, you hold the button down and you'll hear three beeps. At that point, you've gotta to choose to either put it in you know, single shot or burst shot mode on full auto or you can adjust the sensitivity of the trigger, or you can do the pull and release firing mode. So after you hear the three beats, if you press it once, then that puts you in the mode for determining how many shots you want in burst mode. After the three beats, if you pull it twice, then you can adjust the trigger sensitivity. And then after the three beats, if you pull it three times, then you can put it into press and release mode. So first, Let's hold it down for three beeps and then press it once and let's adjust the burst mode. Here we go. And I'm gonna hold it close so hopefully you can hear it. All right, now I'm gonna press it once. Like it's being the burst mode. Then I'm gonna do one, two, three. And I beep three times, so it should give me a three round burst. So let's put it in full. See, one, two, three. So that's cool. So if you want to set it back to default, you just hold it down past the three beeps until it beeps like one long beep, and then you let go and it'll be back. So I put it back in safe mode and I'll hold it down. Listen. There was the three. See, and it's doing that. So if I put it in full, it should be full auto. And it is. I'm not going to go through the trigger sensitivity for one reason is it's hard for me to really show how sensitive the trigger is. So let's go to the press and release mode. All right, so I'm going to hold it for three. Now I'm going to press it three times. And now it should be in press and release mode. And you use that on semi-auto. So I moved it to semi. Now I press, I release. See? Press, release. Press, release. So that's really cool if you're in a map where they don't allow full auto, but you can do that. And almost achieve full auto. All right, so let me put it back to default and we'll go chrono this. All right, bros, I realize this is hard to see, so I'm just gonna have to chrono it and um, tell you what I see. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs. 280.3. 278.4, 
and 279.3. So I got a high of 285.2, a low of 209.1, which is to me kind of an outlier. And it's reading at a 272.6 average, which I would probably bump it up to close to 280. All right, bros, I'm about 60 feet away from those EVIC target cans, and um, I'm gonna take some shots and show you how it goes. All right, now I'm gonna do it again, but on full auto this time. All right, bros, now I'm about 90 feet away. All right, bros. Now I'm at the same distance and I'm gonna shoot it in press and release mode. So it'd be kind of like automatic. All right, bros, some of the footage that I use for the video was taken with this little run cam right here. And I mounted it here and pulled the front sight back. Overall, I think this is a solid and well-built gun. I like the programmable gearbox and I especially like the press and release firing mode. I think that's very cool. I personally like guns with longer barrels because I feel like you're gonna get a more accurate and possibly longer shot with a longer barrel. And I think this will probably be one of the guns that I'll be using the next time I play. If you notice the FPS is on the low side, I think it's because this gun came with the weaker spring already loaded into it. As I said earlier, it comes with two springs, the one that's already inside and this one. And I think the one inside is used for playing on Japanese maps because they play with the lower FPS. I didn't load this one in, but I think if we did, we would probably get somewhere around 400 FPS. And I think that's kind of what I got on at least one of the other um, Double Eagle guns with the heavier spring loaded into it. I'd like to get on a field and try this out with this spring and using heavier BBs like two eights or maybe even a three and see what kind of range I can get. All right guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Mr. Future. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to the Roblox Gamer. The next shout out goes to BBC BBC. The next shout out goes to King of Music. The next shout out goes to Kingston Chambers. The next shout out goes to Pedro Junior Felipe. The next shout out goes to Drew XD. The next shout out goes to Dylan Regents. The next shout out goes to Sonny Salonga. The next shout out goes to Lucky Raj Y. The next shout out goes to Aaron James Albida. The next shout out goes to Lien Ma. 
The next shout out goes to Nosh Gamer PH2. The next shout out goes to John Larkin Domingo. The next shout out goes to Tech Neo. The next shout out goes to Christmas 24 ASW. The next shout out goes to Logan the Master Builder. The next shout out goes to Mohammed Abdullah. The next shout out goes to Garfield. The next shout out goes to Antonio Tapia. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. The next shout out goes to Hannah Castro with the X Shot Hawkeye. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.